All right then gang, so at the minute we have a loading screen when we first start our application which loads the data then redirects us to the home screen with that data when it's complete. But at the minute the loading screen looks a bit rubbish. So if we click hot restart over here, we're going to see that loading screen very quickly over here and you're going to see exactly how rubbish it is. You can see it just says loading in the top left. Not very good at all. So instead what I'd like to do is form some kind of spinner in the middle so that users know it's loading but it looks a bit better than that loading text at the top left. Now to do this we could make our own widget but that would be quite complex and instead I'm going to use a package called Flutter Spin Kit. So you can see right here if we scroll down there's loads of different spinners we could use and to install it we just need to go to installing and copy this thing right here so let me do that and then minimize this so over now inside our pubspec.yaml file let's add in this package so paste it in save it cross this off and then click on get dependencies to go and get that package so now we can use this package i'm going to go to the loading screen over here and currently all we're doing here is showing this text widget now i'm going to get rid of this text widget for now and in fact what i'm going to do is get rid of the padding as well so let me just get rid of all of that and instead what i'm going to do is return a center widget because i want to put this in the center of the screen now how do we use this well first of all we need to import it so let's go to the top and let's say import and then just look for spin kit and we can see it's going to be this one down here so flutter spin kit now we can use this package inside this widget and to construct this i'm going to go back over here to see how you do it let's go to example nope okay let's go to readme then and okay so we can see exactly how to do it down here so all we're doing all we need to do is just grab this this is a rotating circle so let's minimize this and go over here and place it in the child property of the center widget like so okay so now we don't need the semicolon we need a comma instead and this should give us a rotating circle now it's going to be white so it might not show up so i'll tell you what we'll do add a background color to this scaffold and that is going to be colors and we'll make it blue so blue and then a deep blue so 900 now i'm going to save this and go to run and then i'm going to hot restart and hopefully we should see a little spinner like that instead while it loads now it's taking a while to load this time but eventually it does go to the home screen so that's pretty cool this is all we need to do just add in a spin kit widget like this and that's all it is a widget with some different properties that we can customize it with so i can make this bigger like so i can make it 80 and if we save it now and run it again go to hot restart and see this in action now it's a bit bigger wasn't there as long but if we do want to preview it for longer what we could do is just comment out this where we navigate to the next page once we have the time now if i save it and go to run we can see this hopefully is going to be what the spinner looks like okay and it's not going to go to the next page so this is a nice way to preview it now what i'd like to do is choose a different spinner than this circle so let's see what we've got if we go to the start and go all the way down we can choose from any of these different spinners and these names here these are basically the names of the widgets that we use so say for example i could use cube grid i just grab that i'm going to copy it and come over here and paste it in here instead of rotating circle and paste it there so it's spin kit then whatever it's called save it and this time we get this square effect okay so i'm going to do one more and i think i'm going to choose the fading cube which is this thing right here oh no that's the folding cube i'll choose the folding cube that's absolutely fine so let me grab that and paste it right in here if i can okay let's save that and see what that looks like okay that's absolutely fine and there is one called fading cube just to show you i'm going to save that and now we can see this one so in fact i think i will stick with this fading cube for now what we need to do is uncomment all of this over here so that we do go to the next screen and then i'm going to go to run hot restart and see if this works so we load and then we see this screen and that my friends looks a lot better than that little loading thing at the top left you can read more about all of this by going to the flutter package on this website i'll leave this link down below to this package and you can go to 
an example and then go to the documentation to have a look so that you can see how you customize these different things on this page as well. So now we have that sorted, I think the next step is to kind of style the home page a little bit more and maybe look at adding the background colors and background images to this screen.